Hey guys, I'm Ryan Schloss and this is Random Happenings. Random Happenings is a book test unlike any others you've seen before. In this book test, the cover is ripped off and the pages are then separated by yourself and the spectator. The spectator then mixes the pages up any way they like and ultimately chooses one page to keep for themselves. But it doesn't stop there. The page is then ripped up into pieces. The spectator then chooses one piece for themselves. They can look at either side of that piece, but ultimately they choose one word. Despite the fairness, you know exactly the word they're thinking of. I love random happenings. It gives so much texture to my show. It's fun to perform, but also it's very unexpected for your audience. Hey, Cherry. Hey. How you doing? Great. Have you, uh, you ever read this book? No. Mm-mm. It's called Random Happenings. It's actually, it's actually one of the bestsellers, uh, I think last month or something like that. I picked it up. It's a really fascinating story about uh, a, little name, a little girl named uh, Laurel Buxton. Have you ever heard this name? Uh-uh, no. She, I, I actually remember like an article a long time ago, but basically, long story short, she's a little girl, she lives in England, right? Um, she took a balloon, like a red balloon, and she put a note on it and it said like, hello, my name is Lauren Bumpston, I live here, blah, 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 right? And then she let the balloon go, just like you probably did as a kid, right? Yeah. You just want to see it fly away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she did that, but something incredible happened. You know what happened? It actually flew over like 150 miles away and it finally deflated and landed into a yard of another little girl named Laura Funkson. She actually opened up and goes, she was so confused, but wait, the same name? This is so odd. But not that, she, she was the exact same age. So they actually, she wrote back and they had all these similarities. Like they had like, they both had a pet hamster named like Thomas and all this stuff, like really weird stuff. Like it's like almost like out of a movie, right? But anyways, all that doesn't matter. Uh, this is like, there's probably like 10 pages in there. So I just save you some time for reading that story. But I definitely recommend it for the other stories. But today we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna put the the title "Random Happenings" and come inspiration that story. We're gonna try to push our luck, if you will. Okay, uh, here, help me out here. So, what you actually take the cover off, right, to keep this like more random, and we'll we'll rip the pages. You, you can actually help me take some pages like this and help me rip the pages apart like this, so that way we get a good separation. Okay, this is nice. Doesn't this feel good? It does. It almost feels it like good. it's you know people do bubble wrap in 2021. We rip pages. It's way more. It's more where the. It's way more soothing. So I think you got a good amount there. I'll take this from you. Now I need you to choose a page at random, right? So nothing's better than just sticking your hand in there, if you will. So I'll just do this. Just stick your hand in somewhere at random, and then wherever you want. Just now, do you want to move it lower or higher? You can. It's your choice. Higher. So go a little higher. Then just go ahead and stick it somewhere a little higher. There. Good. You feel good there. So now you're right now. You're on top of a page, right? Mm-hmm. Do you want the page like? On your hands on or maybe the, the page above your hand? What page above. do you? Above? So here, I want you to look at it. So this page right here is the page above. Is there words on this page? Yes. So rip that page off for me. Go ahead and rip it off. Now this, I'm obviously, I don't want to see this, but you obviously have a lot of words on there. But I want you to take it a little further. Instead of just reading it, I want you to rip it in half. So turn it, turn it long, words like this. Rip it straight in half, okay? And then put it together like, like a unit and then rip it again. Okay, and then put it together like a unit and maybe rip it like the fat ways, yeah? And then take those pages and then mix those pieces, uh, those pieces up for me. Yep, and then turn them up. Yeah, that's fine. We don't, we don't need them all. <laughs> that's fine. And then when you want, uh, pick one piece with a lot of words on it, okay? Okay, okay great. I'll just take this for you. Now hide it so I can't see it yet. Okay, so right now in a second here, I want you to open your hands and you're gonna find like an interesting word, like a, like a long word if you want. So go ahead and look at it for me. Try to find a nice, long, interesting word. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, close it up or let's crumble it up if you will. Crump, toss it on the ground. <laughs> That's pretty random, right? So I feel like we're doing, we're in the spirit of the book, right? Mm-hmm. Now you probably wonder, you're probably, I had this sticking out of my pocket the whole time, right? Right now you're also thinking of a word, yeah. right? Yeah. But now, Jerry, this would be kind of crazy. What word are you merely thinking of right now? Brainstormed. Brainstormed? Mm-hmm. And you could have chose any word. Right. But brainstormed is the one you want it? Yep. Check it out. Actually, right there on the paper is brainstormed. Abstract effects. It's in the game.